here I have some solids. As you said before, these particles in a solid hold so tightly together that nobody can pull them apart. They are so tightly connected together. You can see, they are so tightly connected that I cannot even pull them. I'm trying to pull them apart. I can't pull them apart. I'm trying to bend. I can't bend them. Let me see if I can pull this one. I cannot because the particles are so tightly joined together that they cannot be easily pulled apart. Let me look at this. Here too, trying to pull them apart, they cannot be pulled apart. The only thing I can do to separate them is probably I'll use a hammer and apply some force. Let me do that. Even with that, I'll need to apply a great deal of force. Let's see. See? I have to apply some force before these particles can separate. And even then, they are still cling together. You can see? They cling together. So the particles in a solid are very much together. They cannot readily be separated. So even after using some force to break this solid for the particles to be separated, we see that they are still so tightly clinged together that each of the solid piece still has its shape. You can see how closely connected the particles in a solid are tightly together. They can be separated. We see that each of these pieces has its own shape. Let's go on to liquids. Now we continue with our science experiments, three states of matter. We've talked about matter in the solid state. Now we are going to consider matter in the liquid state. Remember we talked about liquids in the creation story. The particles of liquids do hold together, but not nearly as tightly as the particles in a solid. Liquid particles are very, very loose. Their particles are so loose that I can just put my hand right through. So I can put my hand right through. So the particles actually let my hand pass through them. There's no problem. But if I try to put, do the same thing with my solid, I cannot pass my hand through the solid because particles in solids are so tightly put together that you can't even put your hand through any solid. Now why can I pass my hand through the liquid? As I said before, the liquids are loose. Let me demonstrate that here. You can see the, the particles of liquid just roll over each other. Can see they are so loose that all they do is to roll over each other like we see these particles doing they are just rolling over each other and that is why i can pass my hand through a liquid like this because the particles are so loose that they just roll over each other Now, what is the result of this? The result is that liquids don't have their own shape. They take the shapes of the containers into which they are put. Let's do that here. You can see the shape of this bottle. I'll put a liquid. That's taking the shape of this container. This is another bottle. You can see the shape of this bottle. Let's put some liquid.
can see the liquid has taken the shape of this container once more so liquids don't have any shape of their own they take the shape of the container into which they are put unlike solids you can see each of these solids has its own shape this 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 has its own shape because they are all solids but you can see liquids don't have any shape of their own they just take the shape of any container into which they are put i have another container here now it's another container let's see you can see You can see the different shapes that these liquids have taken because of the containers into which they are put. So liquids don't have any shape of their own. They just take the shapes of the containers into which they are put. All because the particles are not tightly clipped together. They roll over each other. There's also another thing about liquid. So the other thing about liquids is that because of the fact that their particles just roll over each other, liquids press sideways and downwards. Look at, I have a liquid here. Look at it. You can see some water already dripping down because liquids press downwards. You can see the water dripping down. This is because liquids press downwards. Not only that they press downwards, they also press sideways. You see? Can you see? Liquids also press sideways. So they press sideways and downwards. So liquids press downwards and sideways. That is another thing about these liquids. All because their particles just roll over each other. They are so loose. Now what about solids? Solids only press downwards. Solids only press downwards. I can feel it pressing down on my hand. Now let me see if I can feel anything sideways. I can't feel anything sideways. What about this? I can feel it pressing on my hands. I can't feel anything sideways. Now what about gases? Remember we also talked about gases? When we are talking about the creation story. So now we are going to consider the particles of a gas. A gas is what we have in the air all around us. The particles in the gas are so loose that I can move my hands wherever I want in the air. You can see no resistance whatsoever. My hands just come through them. The particles are so loose, they spread in all directions. 
Let's see. Can you smell it? Yeah, I can smell it. You can smell it? Yes. Go to that corner. Can you smell it? Yes, yes. Smell it. Now bend down. Smell it. Bend a little bit. Can you smell it? Yes. I can smell it. Because the particles of a gas are so loose, they are just all over the place. They spread all around us. I have one more trick for you. I have a glass of water here. Watch carefully. Why is the paper here not falling off? I wonder why. Can you figure out why? Well, it's because those particles, those gas particles that are moving all over the place are just pressing against the cover. They are pressing upwards. Remember the gas particles are all over the place. They move in all directions. So we have some of those gas particles actually pressing upwards against the paper. So the paper cannot fall. Because of those particles of gas pressing upwards against this paper cover. And that is why you find the paper not falling as we say it. So I want you to do these different experiments we have done on three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gases. So go ahead and explore the experiments or do the experiments by yourself and see how those particles behave in the different states of matter we have discussed today, solid, liquid, and gases. Another day we are going to talk more about these three states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. So it's your own turn to do all these different experiments on the three states of matter.